lost civilizations under the sea to the most bizarre denizens of the deep. Here are 13 incredible undersea phenomena. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 13. There was a secret hidden under the North Sea until 2016. That's when remains of an ancient forest were revealed that could date back some 7,000 years. A 200 meter stretch of the forest has been uncovered in Northeast England. Experts say that over time, the encroaching ocean had buried it under sand. Because sea levels have been rising, the sand has eroded and the forest has been revealed. Archaeologists have found tree stumps and fallen tree trunks preserved in peat along the shore of a Northumberland beach. Beach. They've also found footprints of adults and children in the peat, along with evidence of diverse wildlife including deer and brown bears. Experts think this ancient forest could have been a part of Doggerland, a stretch of land that once connected the UK to Europe and reached the Norwegian Trench. The area would have become flooded due to glacial melt, making it impassable for humans and wildlife. glass squid. There's about 60 species of glass squid and they appear in open oceans around the world. As you might guess, the name is derived from their transparent nature. It actually serves to provide camouflage. Several species are bioluminescent. Light generating organs located on the undersides of their eyes are used to cancel out shadows. A signature feature of these critters is the distinctive digestive gland, which is shaped like a cigar and is essentially the cephalopod's equivalent to the mammalian liver. Did you know these creatures have a chamber that is filled with ammonia? It helps to aid the buoyancy. Xenotobella are flatworm-like critters colored fuchsia. Four new species were found some 12,000 feet below the surface off the California coast on the carcass of a whale as well as on hydrothermal vents. Because one four-inch animal favored the appearance of the Spanish fried dough pastry churro, it was named Xenotobello churro. And experts tell us it may have a more distinct characteristic. The undersea critter, along with its companions, could be our distant cousins because it's possible they share DNA with humans. Would you have guessed that the world's sixth largest river is actually located underneath the Black Sea? British researchers made the discovery in 2010. They estimate the river could be around 115 feet deep in places and more than half a mile wide. 3D scans using false color were generated to give an idea of how it flows along the bottom of the Black Sea. Experts say these undersea waterways can carve out rapids, floodplains, and even waterfalls. The amount of water flowing through this river is estimated at 350 times greater than the Thames. Divers have discovered what is being referred to as Britain's Atlantis. The remains of a drowned world is thought to represent Doggerland, a location we previously discussed. The huge area of land was thought to have been submerged between 18,000 BC and 5500 BC and would have ranged from Scotland to Denmark. A team of researchers say that analysis reveals the submerged Doggerland was home to wildlife such as mammoths and reindeer. That's judging from fossils recovered and indications of a mass mammoth grave. Findings suggest that the landmass could have supported human populations numbering in the tens of thousands. Evidence of unusual standing stones and possible burial sites have been detected. Although much of the evidence has suffered from underwater erosion, experts say they can still narrow down the best areas where signs of life may yet be preserved. The Great Blue Hole. Almost a thousand feet across and more than 400 feet deep, the huge sinkhole is located off the coast of Belize and is thought to have formed when sea levels were much lower. Analysis of stalactites found at the location suggests the sinkhole was formed over 150,000 years ago. It gained fame after Jacques Cousteau named it one of the world's top 10 scuba diving spots. It's part of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System and it appears on the bucket list of many divers. Loki's Castle. 
Named for the Norse god of mischief, this field of thermal vents was discovered in 2008 and located between Greenland and Norway. In addition to the five vents, researchers also found some 20 different animal species that live off heat released by the vents, which can reach more than 300 degrees Celsius. Because huge metal deposits were also found, the area could be opened up to corporate exploration to extract them. Pyrosome. This creature is also known as a sea squirt, and they're so rarely sighted that they're often called the unicorn of the sea. So it was a reason to celebrate when one of the critters was located off the coast of Tasmania in 2013. Divers captured pictures of the elusive animal, which can grow up to 30 meters long, or about the size of a couple of double-decker buses set end-to-end. -end. Despite that massive size, they're known to be slow-moving filter feeders. Pyrosomes are actually translucent, cylindrical-shaped colonies comprised of thousands of smaller individuals known as zooids. Only a few millimeters in size, zooids are each connected by tissue. They move as one within the pyrosome's tube-like housing and pull water through its tubes to feed on plankton before the filtered water is pushed back out. Experts say that the movements of pyrosomes are largely determined by currents and waves in the ocean. an undersea Pompeii. Archaeologists have located the ruins of an ancient settlement near Delos, a small island in the Aegean Sea. Remains of fallen colonnades and walls were located, along with more than a dozen terracotta pots in what appears to be a ruined pottery shop. The workshop had huge boulders lined in front, and experts think it suggests a waterfront may have once protected the area. The overall ruins were initially believed to be the remains of port facilities, but now it seems more likely that the structures represent an unidentified settlement that may have engaged in commercial and crafting endeavors. Reasons for the settlement's collapse and when it occurred are still being debated by archaeologists. It was christened, quote, a small underwater Pompeii, end quote, by Greek media because workshops similar to this have been found there. Pavlipetri, Greece. This is one of the world's oldest known archaeological town sites, dating back around 5,000 years. While many underwater ruins are incomplete or difficult to distinguish between naturally occurring shapes and man-made structures, Pavlipetri displays a complete town layout, including tombs, streets, and architecture. There are around 15 structures submerged under 13 feet of water. It was discovered in 1968, and there is an ongoing research project to determine when the town was occupied and how it became submerged. Supergiant Crustaceans Now, if you immediately thought of giant shrimp upon seeing these pictures from the University of Aberdeen, that is understandable. These creatures were found in New Zealand's Kermadec Trench, one of the deepest oceanic trenches on Earth at more than 10,000 meters, or six miles deep. Seven huge amphipods were found gathered in a trap set by scientists, and you can see just how massive they are when placed in the hands of researchers. The supergiant crustaceans are more than 20 times the size of the normal crustacean cousins, which usually measure less than a half inch long or just over a centimeter. The largest of these seven creatures measured about 11 inches long or 28 centimeters. Experts say amphipods this big have not been seen in more than three decades. Silphra Rift. Did you know there's a location where you can actually swim between the North American and Eurasian continents? It's called the Silphra Canyon, located in southern Iceland. In 2015, a French marine biologist named Mathieu Folquy, sorry if I got that name wrong, I tried. Anyway, he came away with some amazing pictures of the location during a diving expedition there. Various pictures give us an idea of how clear the waters are, and that's due to porous underground lava that filters the water before it reaches the lake. Visibility is said to be around 100 meters. Because the water source is the second largest ice cap in Iceland, the water stays at about 3 degrees Celsius year-round. Other pictures show divers in the canyon, or rift, that divides the two continental plates. They're said to drift about 2 centimeters apart each year. So, here are some underwater phenomena that might give you the heebie-jeebies. 
In 2016, a Russian fisherman named Roman Fedorsov, I hope I got that right, posted images to Twitter of various creatures he had caught from the deep oceans. If nothing else, the pictures confirmed that we do indeed have an alien world hidden just below the surface. Some of the creatures we could identify include a frilled shark, which is also referred to as a living fossil. We also identified the weird chimera, also called a ghost shark. You can see the scary-looking black scabbard fish, along with the orange sea spider or marine arthropod. Rat tails or grenadiers are known for their bizarre bulging eyes and drooping red lips. There were indeed plenty of unusual shapes, sizes, and colors on display, but we could not positively identify several of the critters, a few of which actually seem to defy description. And apparently the photographer was stumped by a few of them as well, captioning certain pictures with, who are you? Well, we'd like to ask this particular creature, what are you? If you got any ideas, let us know in the comments.